Welcome back. Now in Tavoli Sports, weightlifting Solomon Islands will be participating in this year's Oceania Weightlifting Festival 2024 this month in New Zealand in the youth, junior and senior category. Now five athletes will be competing and currently in training under the watchful eyes of coach and weightlifting Olympian Wendy Halle. Um, competition will be followed next month in uh, Home Senior Championship for him uh, Youth, Junior and Senior and him also qualification even for Before waiting for him, ready for four. Uh, before choosing only five athletes, one for four and no more, him for Youth and Junior and then for other girls. So other girls are like Jenny, Mary and Laura and one for young one from the Palato, a Chinita, and then one for young one, Freeman. But Freeman have already traveled two times, so he have never gotten the experience. Chinita have faced that. But yeah, like for what senior ones, like Mary and Jenny, he have good for them, it's a qualification event. And for Laura and Freeman, what are you explaining me where what are you still exposed and what are you looking for in competition or other countries make them come out of the trend, other summit. Why not? Why not? Level broken. And I'm good for the expos because if you build up the whole team, not it's for a mini game. I'm good for time. If you start to send, if you expose more athletes, then you can get more confidence. Competition will begin on the 17th of this month. Now, weightlifting registered a total of 18 medals during the 2023 Pacific Games. Now, the two-legged 2024 OFC Champions League playoffs is scheduled for this month. Solomon Warriors and Central Coast kick off their first leg of playoffs on the 17th of this month at the National Stadium, the Sports City. Now, preparations and training are well underway for both teams. So far, we are doing okay. We're doing really well. Uh, with them now, new inclusion law plays where Okata coming and uh, part with them team so we're looking we're really really looking good for um uh, everybody came on the first leg when we fall coming saturday next weekend for this playoffs uh me uh two fall transfers now actually him as you might aware i mean i mean me happen uh william uh Komasi and uh barry barry limoki to follow um uh, uh been transferred out for joining the club law nandroa law fiji um I mean, to all the key players, the team where I look forward for to follow part with them team, the playoffs. But I uh, have opportunity where I at the same time, I feel like for making more young ones out explore them so that at least uh, further in my careers, but the future. So we take uh, on board and we said, okay, since you all agree for transfer, I feel release me to follow and it will go. Uh, so, yeah. Basically, to follow transfer where I'm happy where at the moment to follow key players, but me follow where by to follow not able for features in that lot to follow playoffs, but me follow to a league where coming up here lot playoffs here na William uh, Komasi and uh, Barry Limoki. Yeah. The final TSL match last season finished with a 1 1 draw. Central Coast led by one goal from Barry Limoki. But at halftime, a much needed equaliser came in for Solomon Warriors as Alwyn Ho sealed Solomon Warriors' fate and put them on the top of the table for the eighth time. OFC has confirmed the dates for playoffs on the 17th and the 22nd of February. And that concludes our Tawuli News Bulletin for today. Follow us on our social media platforms on LinkedIn, Twitter and on Facebook. Or for comments or feedback, you can also reach out to us via email. That's newsdesk at tawulinews.com.sb. I'm Lisa Osifello. Thanks for watching.